Hello everyone. Welcome back. My name is Dr. Vijay Bhatia. I work in the mental health and today I'm going to talk about al alcohol acute intoxication. What is acute intoxication? It is a condition that follows the administration of a psychoactive substance. In our case, it is alcohol. Psycho means mind, active that affects the mind, any substance that affects the mind, resulting in disturbances in level of consciousness, because this is the, this is the part of the mind. Cognition, perception, affect, meaning mood, and behavior, or any other psychophysiological functions and responses. We will talk these in more detail. The disturbances are directly related to acute pharmacological effects of the substance and resolve with time, with complete recovery, except where tissue damage or other complications have taken place. Complications may include trauma, inhalation of vomitus, delirium, that means acute confusion or coma, that you lose all your senses and consciousness, convulsions, having fits like epilepsy, and other medical complications like liver problems, gastric problems, and other things. The nature of these complications depend on the pharmacological class of substance and mode of administration. In our case, it is mainly we are dealing with alcohol today. Acute intoxication, there must be dysfunctional behavior as evidenced by at least one of the following. Number one, disinhibition. What do we mean by that? That normally our movements are under our control they become disinhibited, they become out of our control. You become argumentative, aggression may be there, liability of mood may be there, may be feeling happy, then sad, depressed, angry, upset for little things. Attention will be impaired, you cannot focus. If I ask you to spell the word world backwards, that will be a difficulty. There will be impaired judgment, spatial awareness is uh, impaired. So if you're driving, you don't know how far the red light is or how far is the other person, especially if it is dim light. Interference with personal functioning, your relationship difficulties, your finances will be affected. But in acute intoxication, even one of these is uh, uh, affected to the great extent that will impair other things as well. And at least one of the following signs must also be present. When we say sign, that means it can be observed by other people. You can see the unsteady gait. If you ask the person to walk in a straight line, they won't be able to walk in a straight line. And they may, may be staggering or moving zigzag manner. Standing difficulty in standing if you ask them to stand on both feet together close together and close their eyes they will feel as if they're going to fall there might be speech is slurred slurring of speech or not finding the right words or not able to say what they would need to say or getting mixed with words nystagmus the eye movements uh, they can uh, uh, move faster or slower than you would expect in a normal person. Decreased level of consciousness, either you are in stupor, that you feel you in a different place, and coma, that is extreme, when you can't even, know, don't even know where you are, you may not even respond to the voice or touch or feelings or sometimes even pain. It can be that bad with acute intoxication if the levels of alcohol are very high in, in your brain. You will have flushed face and your conjunctival injection, that means eyes are red. The conjunctiva, the white part of your eye is 
uh, gone quite red because it, there's a lot of blood there. When severe, acute alcohol intoxication may be accompanied by hypotension, meaning low blood pressure. The blood pressure might be very low. You might feel dizzy as if not able to stand, as if surrounding is moving. Hypothermia, if you have drunk too much and you're not wearing the right clothes and not sitting in the right temperature, you will suffer hypothermia. That means temperature can fall below 37 degree and if it sometimes can fall below even 35 degrees Celsius at that temperature, the normal enzymes of the body will not function properly and you, will, you can get into coma. And there is depression of the gag reflex. Normally this reflex is in the throat that if somebody is trying to touch your throat, you will as if you are going to vomit. And what happens in this one, it is depressed. And if the food is there or you regurgitating uh, at, in the evening or there is food in the, in the throat, you will not be able to vomit it out. And that vomit might go into your air pipe and cause aspiration pneumonia. What does one unit of alcohol look like? It's normally, if it is a whole big pint, 218 mil maximum you should take. And if it is a standard glass of wine, about 76 mil. And if it's a standard whiskey, it's only about 25 mil. And if it is a beer, you will take only about 250 mil. And if it is a standard alcohol pop, 4%, it should be only small amount or small bottle. The maximum limit for a male or female is about 14 units per week, not per day, per week. What is alcohol? Alcohol is a simple molecule with two carbon atoms and five hydrogen atoms attached with this one. And OH is attached to one of the carbon. And this is a molecule of ethanol. However, for any alcohol, the OH group forms the alcohol group. So if this O wasn't present, then it will be simply ethane. And in this case, the oxygen and hydrogen are attached to this carbon, making this as alcohol. When it's small molecule, that can be easily transferred uh, through the blood vessels. So what we mean by toxicity? Now, the alcoholic drinks we normally buy from the shops that we drink is ethanol. Methanol is the, like the, we call it wood alcohol. It is used in industry. With respect to acute toxicity, simple alcohols may have low acute toxicities. Doses of several millimeters are tolerated. For other alcohols like pentanols, hexanols, if we give it to the rat, say oral, lethal dose will be just two to five grams of per kilogram rat's weight. So if a rat is one kilogram, if you give the two gram of alcohol, or and that will be enough to kill that rat. So imagine if a person is taking, and remember the methanol and ethanol are slightly less toxic than we are talking about pentanols and hexanols. However, alcohols, they can cause mild skin irritation and methanol can cause blindness. And especially in some areas where alcohol is manufactured uh, illegally in some places, there might be some traces of methanol that have caused uh, uh, people to die and have caused blindness. The metabol metabolism of methanol is affected by the presence of ethanol as well, which has a higher affinity for liver alcohol T liver alcohol T hydrogenase. So what happens in the liver of the human body? We have enzyme that will convert the alcohol into simple molecules, which we will do uh, uh, in, in the next slide. We will talk more about it. And once it is 
uh, metabolized, it is excreted in the urine. In general, what are the physical properties of the alcohol? The hydroxyl group makes alcohol polar, meaning it will have small positive and a small negative as water, as a, like a oxygen has hydrogen and hydrogen attached here. This oxygen is slightly negative and this oxygen is slightly positive. So it's a bipolar molecule. It has a negative side and it has a positive side. And this hydrogen can form other um, uh, uh, hydrogen bonding with the other adjacent, uh, let's say uh, there, there is another water molecule present here. It will come near to this forming hydrogen bonds. So they are bipolar. And if we put any salt in it, it will dissolve it. Similarly, alcohol are bipolar. Uh, they have slight charge on, uh, uh, on the oxygen is positive and on the hydrogen, uh, sorry, on the oxygen is negative and on the hydrogen it is the positive charge, slight positive charge. Those groups can form hydrogen bonds to one another and to most other compounds as well. Owing to the presence of the polar OH uh, alcohols, are more water soluble than simple hydrocarbons. So if you have a glucose molecule in the body, alcohol will be more water soluble. Methanol, ethanol, and propanol. So methanol will be one carbon, ethanol will be two carbon, and propanol will be three carbon. They're all miscible in water. They can dissolve in water. Butanol, it's a four carbon chain, but it is less uh, moderately is, a, is less soluble than these ones. Because of hydrogen bonding, alcohols tend to have higher boiling point than comparable hydrocarbons and ethers. The boiling point of the alcohol ethanol is 78.29 degrees Celsius compared to the 69 degrees Celsius for the hydrocarbon hexane. Alcohols are flammable they undergo a complete combustion in air to produce carbon dioxide and water. So if we burn the alcohol with the oxygen, so this is methanol in this case, we burn with uh, oxygen, it will give carbon dioxide and water. Now, what does deprotonation mean? When we have alcohol, because they have OH group, this can be they have a pK value of, so here is H ions plus OH ions. And overall, let's say even if it is a water or alcohol, there is normally a balance of these and they dissociate in equal proportions. However, in weaker acids, they, this becomes more easily available. And uh, what does it mean is that alcohols are, with a pK of around 16 to 19, they are generally slightly weaker acids uh, than water. So water is more neutral. With strong bases such as sodium, if, if you eat salt, uh, sodium hydride, or even simple sodium, uh, they form salts called alk oxides with the general formula of this is alcohol, and they combine with the uh, um, uh, metal, forming the alkoxides. So people drinking alcohol and eating salt, they will form salts. The acidity of alcohol is strongly affected by solvation. What does it mean? In the gaseous phase, alcohols are more acidic than in water. Alcohols can be oxidized by reacting with oxygen, as we learned, and when they react, they produce a carboxylic acid, which is even more acid. They have, they can easily give away their H ions. There is more availability of H ions. Different alcohols form different carboxylic acids, and carboxylic acid reacts with any other acid uh, like any other acid, they will react with carbonates, 
and to produce a salt, water, and carbon dioxide. When carboxylic acid dissolves in water, they ionize and release H ions, resulting in more acid. Remember, H ions can affect the structure of protein. Uh, if the structure of protein is affected in your cell membrane, especially in the brain cell, they will not function the way they should normally. Therefore, they will not be able to carry on the normal functions. Alcohols are used as solvents and fuels. Alcohols such as methanol and ethanol are used in the industry. This is because they can dissolve most things water can dissolve, but they can also dissolve certain substances that water cannot dissolve like hydrocarbons, oils, and fats. Remember in our brain cell or any human cell, even liver cells or muscle cells, the cell membrane is made up of fats, normally phospholipids. If alcohol comes near here, it has the potential to dissolve your cell membrane. And if the cell membrane is dissolved, that leaves a gap so that substances which shouldn't go in will go quickly, even things like sodium, potassium, calcium, they will rush into there. And because alcohol can dissolve water, it will want the water and won't uh, take out the water from here. So the alcohol is literally causing the damage to the cell membrane of the nerves inside the brain, therefore affecting its function to to link with or communicate with other nerve cells. So it's important to remember these things, why they cause this toxicity and confusion, and that your thinking is not good, your attention is poor, and you are not able to judge things and uh, affecting your orientation. Does alcohol cross the blood-brain barrier? Yes. While all body systems feel the effects of alcohol, the CNS, the central nervous system, especially the brain, especially the cell membranes of the nerve cells, they are very sensitive. That's because alcohol can pass through the blood-brain barrier easily. Remember, the molecule is very small. It passes quickly, and on top of that, it can dissolve even fats, reaching the neurons directly and damaging their cell membrane. And it, not only cell membrane, the, the cell nerve, uh, neuron has a axon or nerve and that nerve is covered with fatty layers tissues to to help the flow of the electrical impulse uh, from the or from the from one cell to the other and that can be damaged and impaired and sometimes when alcohol is acutely damaged uh, they can cause major damage in these cells and people will have short-term memory problems called Korsakoff and stuff like that. Once alcohol touches these cells, they are changed, resulting in the change in behavior of the person. Ethanol is the alcohol found in alcoholic drinks, such as wine, beer. It's usually made using the fermentation. Fermentation uses an enzyme in yeast so yeast is the uh, organism that has enzymes which can convert um, the simple sugars into ethanol. And during the process, carbon dioxide is produced. Fermentation happens fastest at a temperature of around 37 degrees Celsius in a slightly acidic solution and under anaerobic conditions. That means when no oxygen is present, they work better. How do the, once it is inside the body, how do we get rid of the alcohol? Ethanol and alcohol found in nature and in alcoholic drinks is metabolized through a complex catabolic pathways, especially in the liver. And remember one thing about alcohol, it is absorbed constantly. Even if you take the small amount, it is a, a first pass metabolism. It is a, it is keep on rising the blood levels in the in the in the uh, uh, from the stomach. It keeps on getting absorbed 
at a constant rate. In humans, several enzymes are involved in processing ethanol, first into acetaldehyde, and if that accumulates, that can cause damage. It, it can cause acidosis and confusion, and further into acetic acid, and ultimately into acetyl coenzyme until the alcohol is converted into acetyl coenzyme A, it is not safe. Acetic acid is not safe, acetaldehyde is not safe. And one of the drug we give disulfiram to people, uh, which will stop the production of conversion of alcohol into acetyl coenzyme A. And in the process, there will be accumulation of acetaldehyde that will lead to the flushing uh, vomiting, dizziness, and acute uh, 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 intoxication state very quickly. So people taking any of disulfiram or antabuse should not go even small amounts of alcohol, even contained in um, deodorants and um, aftershaves. Once acetyl coenzyme is formed, it becomes a substrate for the citric acid cycle and it becomes safer, ultimately producing the cellular energy and releasing water and carbon dioxide. So this is safe. However, until that stage is reached, uh, the if alcohol uh, dehydrogenase, liver dehydrogenase, alcohol dehydrogenase is less in some people, they, therefore, the acetyl aldehyde will accumulate. Due to differences in enzyme presence and availability, human adults and fetuses, remember there's a difference between the human liver and the fetus liver, they detox, they have more capacity to detox, whereas the fetus in the mother's womb has a less potential to detoxify the alcohol and therefore uh, they will have different effects. Gene variations in these enzymes can lead to variations in catalytic efficiency between individuals. So some people from Asian origin, they, their alcohol dehydrogenase is not efficient as uh, their counterparts in white population or European population. So they, are, they can be more prone to alcohol intoxication. Liver is a major organ that metabolizes ethanol due to its high concentration of these enzymes. Uh, alcohol dehydrogenase. Well, friends, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button and share with friends. Subscribe the channel for more videos. The advice is do not get alcohol intoxication. And if you are drinking, drink a very sensible small amount. Remember the upper limit is 14 units uh, per week for male or female and their consequences on the health, finances, and maybe problems with the law. If you are drinking alcohol and you think you have a problem, there is help available. Uh, seek the professional advice. I see you again in my other videos.